Welcome to ITE 501. This subject is all about the .NET Framework 3.5 Windows Forms Application Development. Before we have a look at the subject itself, just a little bit about me. My name is Justin Marshall. I'm the subject coordinator for this subject and all of the other industry-based programming subjects as well as the SQL Server subjects. I've been in IT since around 1991 and I've been programming since Visual Basic 3, which fortunately we've evolved a little bit since. I've also got a strong background in computer networking, Windows administration, and I'm involved in training in the classroom and distance education arenas as well. My email address is there should you desire to contact me with regard to this subject or any of the others that I look after. Your main source of study throughout the subject will be the Microsoft Press self-study book as well as the content that you'll be studying. Each of the chapters in the book has labs to work through at the end of it which will allow you to get some hands-on experience at the material you've been studying. As well as this I'll be presenting weekly sessions using the Citrix GoToMeeting platform and during these sessions I'll be presenting little projects that encompass the material that you'll be studying for that week and the GoToMeeting platform allows me to broadcast my screen and my voice so that you'll be able to sit there and watch as we create the application and we can use that tool to interact both through typed chat messages and also should you desire we can also have voice chats as well. Another key tool for all programmers is the MSDN library. This is Microsoft's key source of material for anything related to the .NET framework. It contains um, sample code, explanation of concepts and also um, core programming references as well. We also make available the Safari Online Library. This allows us to give you access to extra study material to enhance what you're studying throughout the Microsoft Pressbook and you can use it to either further your understanding of those concepts or broaden out your horizons from what you've been studying. And as we get towards the end of the subject you'll have access to the self-test practice exams and I'll talk a bit more about that shortly. Now we'll have a bit of a look at an overview of what you'll be studying throughout the subject. During week one you look at configuring controls and creating a user interface in Windows Forms. We then look at some of the advanced Windows Forms controls including the tool strips, menus and the event driven model that the Windows Forms is based around. In week three we move on to very interesting area of connecting to databases and progressing from week three once we've connected to the database then in week four we look at working with data in a connected environment and a connected environment is fundamentally where our application is permanently connected to the database and is interacting with it in a live situation. In week five we progress from that and we look at working with data in a disconnected environment. This is where our Windows Forms application can cache a copy of the data and work with that data while not necessarily being connected to the source database anymore. In week six we look at implementing data bound controls and also working with the interesting area of XML data. Also in week six you'll receive exam voucher details. You use these to book your exams with uh, Prometric exam centers and once you've booked your exam and provided the details back to the IT master staff you'll then be given details on how to access your self-test practice exam software which again we'll talk about shortly. During week seven we look at printing from our Windows Forms applications and some other advanced topics. 
Week 8, we look at enhancing user usability of our applications. In Week 9, we look at asynchronous programming techniques and also creating Windows Forms controls, which allows us to create our own custom controls, which we can reuse in any of the applications that we're working on. In Week 10, we wrap up most of the learning throughout the subject by looking at deploying a Windows Forms application. And then during weeks 11 and 12, we start getting ready for the exam by doing some exam revision and we focus on the self-test practice tests. The self-test software allows us to sit through a whole heap of sample questions and gives us detailed explanations of the right and wrong answers for those questions. It also gives us references into the MSDN library for any areas that we may not feel comfortable with or that we want to explore further before sitting the exam. And in week 13 is when we sit our exam itself. So the exam for this subject will be 70-505. The one exam will cover both VB.net and C Sharp, but you do get to choose which language you want to sit your exam in as you start the exam. During the online sessions that we do throughout the subject, I will be alternating between VB.NET and C Sharp just so that everybody gets a bit of familiarity with the language that they're not studying because obviously you're not expected to study both languages during the subject but it is nice to be able to have seen the other language and, and get a, uh, a mental picture of how it looks. Your exam will be undertaken at any Prometric exam centre throughout the world and for more information on those exam centers you can go to prometric.com forward slash Microsoft. So for any further information on this subject or any of the master's programs that it's part of you can go to www.itmasters.edu.au or to the Charles Sturt University website which is www.csu.edu.au Thanks for your time and I look forward to seeing you during some online sessions. Bye for now.